I'm starting this dog leash for uh, Tracy. And uh, she wanted the four colors. We've got black, let me get a little bit too close. Black, yellow, orange, and blue with a uh, reflective strip in it. And it's going to be a 20 inch leash with a good size handle and a carabiner at the end. And we have a decorative knot there. And then I'll weave in um, the loop on the handle once I get finished here and another decorative knot there. So let's continue with the weave. Okay, here's the uh, dog leash for Tracy. She picked some beautiful colors. Um, orange, yellow, black, and then there's a blue with a uh, reflective strip in it. Carabiner at the end for the dog collar. And she wanted it uh, 18 to 20 inches. What's gonna happen here is I'm gonna have a loop for the handle, and then this is going to be woven in into there like that and a handle and then 20 inches long so this turned out really nice so I hope she likes it this is going to be fantastic all right so now I'm going to weave the uh, braid into the handle here or into the other weave so that we have a handle and then tie a de decorative knot on there Okay, I'll come back at you when I get that far. Thanks, guys. Okay, now we spliced in the handle. Going back on the stitches. And spliced the handle into the... Now we're going to tie a decorative knot right here. And that's what's next. All right, to finish off our decorative knot we're going to do here is going to go over top of the splice and the knot I'm going to use is a crown knot first followed by a foot a foot rope knot so let's tie the uh, crown knot which is simply put your all right now that we have our loose crown knot we're going to tie a foot rope knot how that is, you go counterclockwise, you take a couple of strands, you go over the next, and then up through the center. Up through the center. Take the next strands, go over the top, of the next one and then up through the center again and you leave these loose until you can tighten up it might be a difficult rope or not to see and follow but it's a simple knot to tie though take the next two go over the next strands and then up through the center And our last two over top the black and up through the center. And that basically is your foot rope knot. Now you just tighten up. And I will show you that once I get it all sort of nice and neat and tightened. All right. All right, there is the finished leash, Tracy. You have a blue, real strong lanyard here with a um, foot knot here. Uh, in yellow, black, orange, and 
a reflective strip blue into a round knot weave uh, into a handle which is braided back into the uh, main strand there with another crown knot followed by another foot foot knot foot rope knot and that is well it ended up to be 21 22 20 maybe 22 23 inches very soft nice and supple but there it is that's the leash looks beautiful turned out really well I love it that is the leash Tracy I'll have it out to you once I get your monkey fist <laughs> made out of uh, she decided to go with the uh, because you can only make a monkey fist in two colors uh, she wanted the blue with the reflective strip in it and the orange which would look beautiful so that's the leash completed All right, I'm going to make Tracy a uh, monkey fist keychain, but I think I change it up a little bit. I'm going to use a Turk knot instead. It looks much, much better. So the materials I need, I need are a lighter, a uh, scissors, a one inch ball. This is a marble. A lacing needle, a rubber band, PVC pipe, roughly the same diameter as the ball, and two strands of her favorite colors, which uh, is an orange, bright orange, and the blue with the um, reflective strip. All right, I'm going to start Tracy's um, monkey fist keychain. Although I think I'm going to change the uh, monkey fist part to a Turk's head knot. It looks much nicer. I think she'll appreciate that. So to do that, I've got two feet of my nine foot uh, orange cord out the side and the elastic band. <clears throat> So I'm going to go around, back over, and we'll call this the standing end, back to the standing end, and then over, and now I'm going to grab my lacing needle. and do the opposite of what this this one is so we'll go under that one and over so mostly it's just under over under over with this weave and then back around to the standing end all right Now I'm going to follow the standing end by going under and over. Come around and follow this lead, except I'm going to do the opposite. This one goes under, I'm going to go over, under the next, and over the end. and take out all the and come around and now you can see that we have two get this out of the way we've got two our standing end and our next one which are both under I'm going to follow between these two doing the opposite so we'll go over this one and under the next one and over the end Uh, 
come around and follow the opposite of this one. So this one goes over, we will go under. over and under the next and over the last and make sure there's no twists and knots in the <clears throat> okay and then come around back to the standing end Okay, now that I brought my lead back to my standing end, what I'm going to do now is just follow the standing end all the way through the knot, doubling up everything. So I'll come back to you when I've got that all doubled up. Nice. Now that I've got the one strand doubled up all the way around, I've got my standing end, my working end. I'm going to tuck my working end under the elastic just to keep it out of the way. There. Now we can work in our blue with the stripe that's going to go right between um, all the doubled up stitches there. Okay, now I've got my two orange strands to the left. I'm going to start my blue strand, which is going to follow the standing end, which is the top one, the traveling end of the bottom one. I'm going to follow the standing end under these two and between these two strands here and I'm going to follow all the way around the knot. So I'm going to go under these two and then follow along all the way through the knot until I come out the other end. And that's going to be the way it looks all the way through. So I'm going to follow this all the way through until I come out to the standing end again. Making sure that you get no twists in the cord. And keep following all the way through the knot. So I will come back again when I get to the other end. As you can see how I'm working all the way through following the knot making sure that you get no twists in the cord and it runs between the two. Once I tighten up um, it will look a lot better. Now things are getting fairly tight already but just keep working it through and separating the best you can here. Okay, a couple more passes and we're through the knot. Follow between these two. And making 
making sure there are no twists because if you have a twist it won't look good in the final knot okay continue on down between these two No twists. Get all the other leads out of the way. <clears throat> and there again, no twists at all. You don't want any twists. And you don't want to really pull too tight at this point because it just gets harder to feed the line through there. So up through these two. And <clears throat> we're on our last pass here through. There again, no twists. And we'll get it between the two. And up through our last pass here. Taking the twists out. And we're back up to the standing end again. That completes the knot. Now I've removed the two standing ends that were on the elastic band here. I pulled them out from underneath the first one and now I have all four cords coming up just like so. Now all I have to do is put the marble in and tighten up. Alright, let's take it off the tube and pop the marble in. And it is a little tight and this is our basic knot here now what we're going to do is tighten everything up and make it look real neat and we'll, we'll, we'll check that out once we're done what I'm going to do is look at the ends and try to make all the ends the same length so I've got the longer ones here the longer ones are on this side. I'm going to pull these back and tighten these up. Pulling back a little bit. And then tightening those up. All right. And you just keep tightening up the cords all the way through the knot until they come out the other end. And trying to keep the cords at the other end even so that we can tie our finishing knots at the other end. Okay. 
Now this is a uh, really nice looking knot. It's the Turk's head knot. That looks really nice once it's done correctly. All you have to do is take your time and it will all come out the other end. Like so. And just keep following. hard to come by there just keep following these and keep them nice and neat in between and keep following this I've got a little snag here I'll cut that little snag off all right and we'll just keep Pulling these along. Until it gets nice and tight around the whole marble there. other end. It does take a little bit of time, but keep working at it, and it will look very, very nice once you get it all out at the end there. And the blue comes over this way and the orange looks really nice with the blue and the orange the blue is a reflective uh, got a reflective strip in it so it can be seen when light hits it at night flashlight or what have you there we've worked out a little more so I'm gonna make a couple more passes on here maybe one more pass at least and that will be our Turks head knot gotta make it nice and tight all right I'll come back at you when I've got it real nice and tight all right guys here's the two different kinds of balls this one is a monkey's fist you can see how it's knotted it's one, two, three, four, five strands. This one is a Turk's knot. This one I like a lot better. They're both roughly the same size because they both have a one inch ball in them. This one has a plastic ball in it. This one has a marble in it. It's a weapon, this one. I've got to tighten this one up a little more and then it's ready for Tracy. All right, let's tighten up a bit more guys. Now that we've completed our Turk's Knot ball and ended up right here, I'm going to tie a rope knot, but first I'm going to tie a crown knot to get ready for the Turk's Knot. And how are for the uh, rope knot? So first of all, we'll spread our colors and start by uh, taking a strand and pass it over counterclockwise over the next strand. 
take the next strand, pass it counterclockwise over the third strand. The third strand counterclockwise over the fourth strand. And the fourth strand counterclockwise over the first, which is through the loop created by the first. Now we tighten up a bit to create our crown knot, which looks like that. Now to tie the rope knot, we'll take a strand and pass it over the next strand coming out of the knot and up through the center. Like that. And we take our next strand, pass it over this strand and immediately up through the center. like that, and counterclockwise. Take the next strand, pass it over <clears throat> the next strand coming out of the ball, and immediately up through the center. And we take our last strand, pass it over, and up immediately through the center. That is essentially our rope knot. So we'll just take each strand and tighten it up just a, just a bit. <clears throat> now what you want to do here is make sure that you're getting right close to the ball and we'll tighten it up. We'll just grab a few uh, strands and tighten it up a bit so that it's nicely up tight against the, uh, the ball. Like that. Now we'll pull on these all nice and tight. And get our rope knot nice and tight around the ball. And now I'm going to tighten that up just a little bit more and comes out with two colors to the right, two to the left. And now I'm going to start creating my rope knot between the two. I guess you can't see that, can you? <clears throat> between the two and back to the on the left. All right, let's continue with this for uh, three or four inches. She required three to four inches of uh, keychain. So we'll continue that and then complete with a crown knot and tie in the uh, carabiner for the keychain, for the keys. And pushing everything forward and keeping things nice and tight. And the blue is a has a reflective strip in it which should look real nice when the uh, light is uh, reflected off of it. And we'll tie another uh, foot rope knot at the end also, after we tie a crown knot and then a foot rope knot. Okay, I think this is going to be a good length right here. Let me just check how long this is. We now have a total of uh, five inches, as you can see here. And then the carabiner at the top here. So, let me come back at you when we, well, what I'm going to do here now is tie the um, crown knot. And that is simply clock, uh, counterclockwise 
you start with any strand and we'll take it over counterclockwise to the next strand the next strand counterclockwise over the third strand the third strand counterclockwise over the fourth strand and the fourth strand counterclockwise through the loop of the first that creates a crown knot so we'll tighten these up a little bit nice and firm well we're, I think we should tie another uh, foot rope knot here and we'll tie in our carabiner here else as well okay okay I've locked the carabiner inside just took these opposite loops and put them in through so I'm going to take any strand go counterclockwise over the next strand take the next strand go counterclockwise over the third strand take the third strand and go counterclockwise over the fourth strand and take the fourth strand and go through the loop created by the first strand and we'll tighten this up a little bit here we have our crown knot and our carabiner is locked in with the crown knot there tighten these up all right make this nice and tight and <clears throat> now I'll flip this over and come back on itself with another crown knot right here so we'll take a strand counterclockwise creating a loop take the next strand go counterclockwise over the third take the third go counterclockwise over the fourth take the fourth strand and come down through the loop created by the first and there we have another crown knot tighten this up real well And we will continue with another crown knot. So we'll take a strand counterclockwise over the next, the next, get this out of the way, over the third, the third over the fourth, and the fourth through the loop created by the first strand. And we have another crown knot. We'll tighten this up real well. All right, and we will now tie another crown knot. Take a strand counterclockwise, next strand counterclockwise over the next strand, the third strand over the fourth, the fourth strand through the hole created by the first strand. And tighten this up. And we have a third crown knot. Now, once I get this all nice and tight I will cut and singe my pieces okay I'm going to continue with this
All right, Tracy, here we have your completed keychain. Let me just see what the total length of this is. It's six and a half inches from here to here. So there it is. We have a, a weapon. <laughs> this is a marble in here, very hard. Um, a Turk's head knot followed by a crown knot and a rope knot followed by a round knot followed by uh, crown knots going back a little bit to give it some strength there something to hang on to you want to hang on to this end and if you don't like this carabiner you can carefully take the carabiner out and put a, a actual key ring in there if you would like a key ring instead of the carabiner but this is super strong and that is the keychain but that's it i will get this out to you it is now saturday and i will get this out to you on monday i'll ship it out to you um thanks again tracy for uh ordering this it was uh fun to make and i'm sure that you're you're gonna love this um uh, i love the weave it's nice it's kind of stretchy a little bit. Uh, never break this. 550 pounds for each strand. This has four strands. Uh, there's two, four, six, eight strands in here. That's a couple of thousand pounds of pressure. So your dog will, will never get away. Yeah. And a big carabiner at the end. Okay, it's time for shipping. We'll get this off to you on Monday. So there you go, Tracy. Thank you for uh, ordering this. Uh, I'm sure that when you get it, you'll be very, very pleased with this. carabiner for your dog leash big carabiner here uh, with a uh, rope knot here followed by round knots of your four favorite four colors looks beautiful this thing I love it it's got the uh, black the yellow uh, the orange and the blue with the uh, reflective uh, strip in it followed by another rope knot and this handle was woven into the other one it's not just folded over and tied on it's woven actually into and it's got a good handle soft and supple it is let me just see here from tip to tip let's just see it's 24 inches so uh, the cord itself would be like to the handle is 20 uh, from the carabiner to to here is eight the carabiner to to here is 18 inches so 